What's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to explain to you guys how to compete on Top Coder. So what's weird about Top Coder is that the interface is very difficult to use and it's kind of just submitting problems are also kind of difficult. So I'll just, I'll just explain how you would do it. Um, so what you would do is you go to arena.topcoder.com and why you go on arena.topcoder.com is because Top Coder also has like other contests that are like create an app development, stuff like that but we just want to do competitive programming for now. Um, then what happens is that normally in this case, there's like a SRM match that would happen and they'll tell you the date, what it is. Um, I already registered, so you just click register and it'll tell you the register. So then it tells you when the coding phase starts. So the registration phase already started, right? It'll tell you when the coding phase start, which in this case, it's uh, it tells you the time period, time zone. And what it's going to be at. So for me, it's going to start at 12 p.m. Uh, February 13th at 12, 12.05 p.m. Eastern, right? So this is based on my time zone. Then what I would do is in order to compete, I would like wake up at this time period. Then I go into here and then normally there's like a room and you click on it, it would you would enter the room. You also could chat with people here. Um, so in this case, you could also do, um, oh wow, still beta. Um, when you enter in a room, then normally there's like three problems and then you have to, on the right side, it says open. I don't know. I, I don't actually know how you, they don't have practice rooms in here. Wow. It's really strange, but ideally there's like three problems that occur and you have to open all three of them. Right. Um, what, uh, don't open, a, don't open all three problems and do it. Cause it's based on when's the last time you opened a problem. So then you would click on one of the problems. It would open up. So in this case, let's let's say let's actually just find a problem. So um, there was a there's a problem in the last contest traveling plans. I think was it what was it? Uh, it was traveling. No, no, not not traveling salesman plans. It was, it was something. Um, hold up. Let me go to practice problems real quick. Uh, there was definitely there was. Let me go to the last contest. Uh, yeah, it's, it's really difficult to use actually. Um, SRM. So I did poorly on the last one because I, did, I didn't think of getting hacked in the test cases. Um, pass SR. So if you go to the previous contest, let's go here. Okay. So yeah. So it tells you the. It's kind of difficult to read. But yeah. So these are the three problems. It's kind of. Uh, it would. When you enter in a top coder contest, there's three problems, right? And then you would open whichever problem. So here, um, challenge 60 Yeah. So here I would click on, uh, this problem set and it would tell me the, it would tell me the, uh, here it would tell me the, uh, problem statement. So here I could go to problem statement. So let's, yeah, so this is, this would be a problem statement. Uh, it's really strange how, let's actually go to the problem name. Yeah. Okay. So I'm actually going to open this up on the top quarter arena. Let's see if I could do that actually. So then I could actually try to submit planning trips. Okay. So it's planning trips. So I'm going to open up in the arena board, practice problems, planning trips. Yeah, it's really difficult to use. Okay, so this is what would happen when you open up a problem statement um, in the arena, right? When you actually uh, have occur have it occur. So the difference between top coder and the other problems is that you actually have to create a class, right? You have to create your own class and the method signature. Otherwise, otherwise it would you would fail, right? It would, uh, you can't submit anything. So this is a problem statement on one of the last contests just yesterday, um, uh, two days ago, actually. So planning trips, uh, you have a vacation, stuff like that. So how would you submit? Um, so what you would do is based on whatever language, to me, it's C++, but you could actually click on this side of this editor and then change if it's uh, C++ or Java or whatever language you want to use. Do they have C? I don't know. Oh, this is really difficult to use because you, you can't even scroll down on this. Okay, so they have Java, C++, and C Sharp. I'm gonna use C++, and that's what it shows. This is really difficult to use, okay.
So if you want to submit this, uh, you have to type in the class name. Make sure it's correct. So in this in this case, I would do class planning trips, right? And this would be the class. And then I have to make sure the method signature is correct. So here, uh, if you look at the method, they want a method of find, and they want the parameters to be an integer and a integer, uh, array, a vector of integers. So here, this is a method signature that we have to have int find int a vector int num. So we, we, you could just copy this actually. So you just copy this and this is a method signature that you need to do to submit, right? So yeah, um, all your methods have to be public by the way. So we have to do this, make it public. Otherwise uh, it would, it would fail, right? Okay, so this is basically the gist of it. And then remember, it has to return an integer. So you have to return something. Um, you Above your class, you should include all your libraries that you're going to include. So like uh, for me, it's... Um, there's a way to include one line of C++ to include all the libraries. I think uh, I'm going to go to Visual Studio just to get the top signatures that I'm going to use. Because those are the libraries I'm going to use. All right, so here... Yeah, this include bits, uh, std, string, C++. So this would include most of the standard libraries from GCC, right? And then um, in C++, you have to be using namespace, std, because I need to use the standard namespace. So then that stops me from writing std every single time. But yeah, that's the gist of it. Um, and then to compile and submit, Oh yeah, so they also give you like example test cases that you could use here. So before you submit something, this is how you submit on the arena. Um, so for now, I'm just going to return zero, which is going to be completely wrong. So what you have to do first is you have to compile and it will tell you if it's compiled correctly. Uh, wow, I didn't using namespaces. Uh, why did, what's the problem? STD doesn't have a type. Okay, I don't have vector include. So yeah, include vector, really strange. Okay, um, what else? Using namespace STD, nested namespace amplify. Do I have two namespaces? Hold up. I don't think so. Okay, so you have to make sure you get all these warnings done. So it says A is not used, so I, I'm just gonna have to do something like A++ or something. I don't know, just to make sure the compiler when you shut up. Okay, uh, same thing. Nested namespace before namespace, using namespace std. Oh, name paste, namespace. Okay, uh, unused parameter num, okay, so Unused parameter, let's just do like num add zero equals zero. I don't know, just to make the compiler shut up. Okay, so now now once you finish compiling successfully, what you do is um, you, you could click on test panel on the right, and then uh, you could check all and run each test case. And then ideally for me, it all failed, right? But it would tell you if your the current sample cases that you inputted failed or not, which is gonna help you a lot. So before you submit, you could actually see if your test case has failed or not, right? Um, after that, if it did pass all of it, just click submit. And then, yeah, it just clicks yes to submit your code. So yeah, that's basically how you would use um, Top Coder. Um, if you want to practice problems, uh, how I got to this area, just click on practice problems right here. So here, uh, click on practice problems, we log into you and then, um, you could search what a pro whatever problem you want. So yeah, that's pretty much the gist of it. It's kind of hard to use, but that's how you would use Top Coder. Rate, comment, subscribe. I'll check you guys later. Peace.